Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is usually the part where I actually tell you what I'm doing for today's tutorial, but I honestly have no idea. I'll try. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a tutorial today with just using liquid or cream products because I kind of thought that I would do a summer makeup tutorial that included very minimal product, look nice and natural and glowy on the skin. With it being me, I say natural very lightly, <laughs> but still looking as if it's full coverage and full glam if that kind of makes sense. Although in saying that, this could also be a challenge all in one as well because I'm not gonna be using any powder products. I think we all know me, I love my powder bronzer, my powder blush, my setting powder. <laughs> so yeah, everything I'm gonna be using today is going to be either a cream or liquid product. <laughs> Part of my lashes. So this is off to a great start. We're going to be using a very minimal product today, Emma says but we're also going to be using it two primers. <laughs> so we're going to be using, first of all, the No Pore Bloom Blur Primer. Just going to take the tiniest bit of that just on the tip of my fingers and I'm going to focus this just along my T-zone, mainly around this situation here. Usually I don't like to use a primer that is blurring and pore filling because I just don't really care much for pore filling primers. Kyle, on the other hand, has been telling me, Emma, you've been getting away a lot of wee holes in your face recently. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Thanks. The shade is real. And then the second primer I'm going to be using is the NARS Super Radiance Booster. Just before I sat down to film, I, I had to kill a spider. <laughs> with my dad's slipper, funny enough, and I just kind of feel like as if I'm still hyperventilating because I have such a fear of spiders, and I know that how cliche that sounds, like who doesn't have a fear of spiders, but whenever I see a spider, like I have such a fear of them, always have, always will, it's as if my body just paralyzes and I just freeze, and my breathing goes funny, and <laughs> I just, no, I just can't do it. And obviously I'm in the house by myself, so I was like, right, what am I going to do? <laughs> so I like sprinted out of my room because it was in the hall. I was like, right, went into my dad's room, found his slipper, it was the only thing I could find. I was like, right, I'll get my mum's yoga mat and just whack it. No, don't necessarily want her doing her flexes on dead spider guts, but yeah, daddy slipper done the job. <laughs> Bless its little soul, but not really. And bless its little body, but not really. It is still lying in my hall. And I ain't lifting it. <laughs> I would say this would be such a nice primer if you're wanting to go on a day where you're not wearing any makeup and you're just wanting to put on a wee bit of moisturiser and you just put like the wee tiniest bit of this in your moisturiser. For me personally, it would be a wee bit too much and too artificial looking all over the face to actually wear alone on a no makeup day, but I think just as a wee hint, they just look quite nice actually. I'm gonna be using these wee Makeup Revolution foundation sticks. I have the shade F1 and F5, because one is too dark for me and one is too light for me. So I know these are pretty full coverage, but I'm going to be blending these out with a brush and a makeup sponge. Using the Flat Kabuki brush by Sigma, I'm just going to start by buffing this into the skin. Once that's all blended in, I'm going to go in and take my beauty sponge. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla 2. No, Light 2 Vanilla. And I just like to apply this with my beauty sponge. I just like to get that wee point in there. And then just... Apply it straight to the under eyes. I just like feeling that my face is not much my body right now. Shock. <laughs> so I'm then going to go with a clean brush. So this is like a wee mini tulip brush. And I'm going to lightly go a very, very light handed. I'm just going to go around the areas where I know that I would set, because the areas that I know that I would set will be the areas that I know that will crease throughout the day. So I'm just going to lightly buff at those areas, just at my under eyes. 
So I'm not wanting to do this really, really hard or densely because I'm not wanting to move or interrupt the product. I'm just wanting to lightly just tickle up those areas. Oh. And just take it along the entire face as well. This is usually the bit that I look forward to, but it's currently the bit that I'm shitting myself over because I never do liquid highlight. I never do because obviously I set my face and just kind of, I don't know, it, it just turns out to be a situation and a situation that I'm not, I'm not down to ever do really. So I have three different types of liquid highlights here. I have the Laura Geller Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops and then I have the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light. It's like a gel highlighter but it's not. Ooh. Do you know what? I have the Frisali highlighter actually. I might use that. Never worry because this doesn't work. So yeah, I have the Frisali Jelly Beam highlight. So I've used this quite a few times but I don't use it that often because as I was saying, I'm not necessarily a fan in cream highlights. Which also brings me to why I bought this but whatever. So it's like so. I'm just going to apply it with my finger first of all. N nothing. <laughs> but that didn't work at all. Gonna use the Laura Geller. Are you kidding me right now? Can you see that? Seriously? So I did just go and grab the iconic London ones and then I have the ones from Makeup Revolution. Just gonna try these first in the back of my hand to see what the colour difference is. I might try the iconic London one. Hopefully they'll work. I'm scared. I don't know if there's a glow there because it's a wet product <laughs> or because it actually is giving my skin a bit of a glow. <laughs> I think this might be a tutorial where I'm not going to be able to have highlight. Okay, well, do you know what? I can definitely see something. It's definitely looking of a more natural highlight, which is actually quite nice. This is actually what I'm looking for. So, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. I have a cream blush here from e.l.f. This is... I can't exactly tell you what it is because I think we all know with e.l.f. packaging it tells you literally nothing about the product. <laughs> um, the only thing I can tell you on the other hand is it's in the shade Soft Peach. Did any of you ever go through like a phase where you never used blush? Never used blusher. Hated it and all of a sudden one day you decided to put blusher on and it changed your life. That is me. That is honestly me. I'm obsessed with it. I always go far, far too heavy handed because I just don't really know when to stop with it, to be honest. So to bronze up the skin, I'm gonna use the Chanel Cream Bronzer. I kinda push this to like the back of my bronzer drawer because if I am going to go for like a cream contour slash bronzer, now I will go for the Huda Beauty one. But I don't know, I just thought I would switch it up and use this one, even though this one is so, so good. But the Huda Beauty one is just, it's just so good. It's just absolutely fantastic. It blends out like a dream. Eh. Did any of you ever hear my chair clicking? Because see whenever I'm editing my footage, I'm like, that damn chair! Whenever it comes to my forehead, I don't you know, really like to use that much. I like to just pat it on first of all. And then because I'm so blonde at the minute, I just always kind of like to be careful. I like to bring it quite far down then it wipe off the brush and then go in and blend in with minimal product because I'm so blonde at the minute I just don't like getting a load of product on my hairline oh this feels so weird my face just looks so juicy I don't like it so then for eyes, eyes was quite a tricky one actually because I don't actually have many like cream eye colours but I do have these and these I have to say, these are good. These are really good. These are the Love Alpha Eye Colour Freeze Pots. I don't know. So as you can see they're kind of like a jelly but these are honestly beautiful. I will swatch this one. So it just comes out in a blob. But they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this is what I mean. They are literally like jelly. <laughs> the whole thing just came out of my hand. Um, I wonder can I just swatch it like this? 
No, I'm okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna... So if you have me on Instagram, you would know that last night I did put up my Instagram stories about what makeup tutorials you would want to see over the next couple of weeks or so because this is kind of what I've started to do on Sunday nights and I will sort out my week's videos. So this week I am actually sorted out with all my videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of requested videos that have been requested to me recently and months ago. For that I'm really sorry. <laughs> so if you don't have me on Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that and you do want to request a particular makeup look just leave my comment down below and I will write it down or screenshot it or something and if I don't do it in the next couple of weeks I'll probably do it next year because I have so many screenshots on my phone from people sending me like makeup look requests and they're from months ago and I mean months ago. These people probably don't even watch me anymore because of that. <laughs> it's so bad. And my eye makeup looks even worse. Look at the state of that. I've just looked up close to my eyes. <sighs> okay, so I'm just going to take a wipe. And I'm going to have to wipe all of this off. This sucks. <laughs> I have the Cover FX Shimmer Veils. I was going to use this one in the shade Mercury, but I'm going to use this one in the shade Gilded. And I'm just going to blend that right up to my crease. In one of my previous Chit Chat Get Rid Of Me videos, um, actually it wasn't that long ago, um, I did mention to you guys that I was wanting to vlog. I think I was saying to you guys that I was wanting to vlog the Friday and the Saturday. So the reason I was saying to you that I was wanting to vlog the Friday is because I was in the house all by myself. My family was away, so I was just gonna I was just gonna vlog. <laughs> um, I had so many packages that were supposed to arrive on the Friday. I was gonna do my hair. I was gonna sort out my makeup collection. I was going to do this. I was going to do that. I was gonna do this, that, whatever. Well, that day was an absolute fuck up. Excuse my language. My vlogging content for that day was basically non-existent. <laughs> But I did start off vlogging. Don't worry, I do have content. I'm not sure whether to upload it anyway and vlog a wee bit more and add to it or what. But anyway, regardless of that, I was going to vlog on the Saturday because I was going down south. Something kind of happened that I didn't vlog that Saturday and I don't want to get into it. I just don't really want to talk about it. I'm going to vlog a few days over the next couple of weeks and combine the two vlogs together over say a week or something. I don't know but do you know what I'll put it up anyway and depending on what the feedback is like and what the footage is like and how I feel about it I don't know. <laughs> That's lashes on and I just used the Revlon Colorstay lip liner and then I'm gonna use the Anastasia lipstick in the shade Soft Touch. Shocker. It's a nude. Wow. I'm going to change to my Primark lipstick because I don't like that. <sighs> I'm not even joking. Today is an absolute disaster. <laughs> the fact that I had a bit of a situation with my eyes, but see off camera, I do not know how many times I've had to get up and get brushes and get products that I have forgot to get. <sighs> Mondays, what is it with Mondays? This is honestly going to be really, really interesting to see what my makeup looks like by the end of the day. Well, whenever I say the end of the day, it's like half three already, but yeah. It should be pretty interesting to see how greasy my skin can get, can look, because I always wear powder. So I honestly have no idea what this is going to look like, but it should be interesting. I'll let you know. But I have to say, I'm not necessarily a fan because my face just looks juicy. <laughs> and my skin looks nice, it just looks nice and healthy and glowy and just very... <laughs> nice. But... I prefer a matte finish. I think we all know that. 
So that this completes his makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you guys so so much for watching and don't forget to leave me a comment down below on any makeup tutorials that you would want to see over the next couple of weeks or something and 100% I will take a screenshot of it or I will write it down in my wee journal <laughs> and hopefully I will get doing that as soon as possible. Although don't hold your breath. Really, please don't because you will die. You will get pregnant and you will die. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you in my next video.